now I'm able to integrate the thermal wind, atmospheric mm -hmm. river, and also the mid latitude mm -hmm. storm in one experiment. How cool is that, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm here with the district coach as well, and so we were talking about bringing these uh, tanks and Legos and tables to the Earth Science Planning Day and showing them. And um, this simple thing can, you know, execute multiple things within, you know, your block period lab or whatnot. And um, I loved it, so they will too. I just really enjoyed like this aspect of like play and give them time to like see what happens and why did that happen and figure it out. So why don't I use this as an excuse to finally flip my classes? To where I record all of my lectures and then we do more stuff like this. And for me is I teach intro level courses that are very large big classrooms so 85 people mm -hmm. so how to make them all it's it's a challenge for me to make them understand Coriolis without using equations mm -hmm. they are majority non majors mm -hmm. so your group has uh, videos as well I put them on the learning platform. I also found other simpler videos that explain Coriolis effect without equation. Getting them to be overcome fear <laughs> and to get in the playful mindset is really challenging. We also want to know when you use these in class, Monica, and I'm honestly just as happy when it doesn't work as when it does. I think we need to know that. We have no data. Right? We've developed kind of some tools, but we're not yet able to have a large data set of how is it working, what was working, what wasn't working, and at what level. We're not going to do this alone, and we want regional sub workshops. But that's obviously not happening yet. Yeah. But I feel like that that's sort of an eventual goal. Planting the seeds so that you guys can go and do your own outreach. Our, our sort of like 10 year goal is to have DIY Mamex or DIY Lab more broadly be this sort of umbrella thing that we all contribute to. Just anything that helps us communicate and teach climate science. This marks the end of our workshop for 2023. We hope to see you in the future.